So cute to me, my little baby. Oh god, I love her. Oh, sorry. Don't want to make her slip, hit the glass. Definitely don't want to do that. I'm just saying hi, looking at my baby. What is up, guys? How the heck are you doing? You know the drill. It's your boy Tyler Nolan. Welcome to whatever today is that you're watching. Today we are going to do a couple things here in the snake room. So mating season for rattlesnakes towards the end of the year. Okay, November, December. That's when everything normally starts to cool down. They go through a little cool cycle. Then once the temperature picks up a little bit, they start getting all nimbly bimbly, lock up with each other, and then you get babies towards the middle of the year. It's a very long gestation period for rattlesnakes, okay? They're avi aviviparous. 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 It's a very long word, hard to say, especially when your tongue's split in half. Okay, meaning. They do not lay eggs. They pretty much, the eggs stay inside of them. They, uh, they go through gestation inside of the animals. Um, and it takes about 120 to 180 days. So it's actually a very long incubation period for these eggs inside the animals. But once that happens, like I said, they don't lay eggs. They pretty much lay out a big sack of babies. It's a really cool live birth animal. Um, it's just awesome, you know, you don't have to deal with eggs or any of that. So it's super cool. So it's been getting really cold in Florida this last week. So it's got me thinking it really didn't get cold at all in December. So there really was no cool down period last year. So this year, you know, after having a couple of these cold days, I was thinking earlier today, I, was, I really should put the albino Easterns together. And I have two females and a male Beetlejuice. So maybe I can get them to lock up. That'd be awesome get some baby albino rattlesnakes towards the end of the year. It's really hard to find baby albino diamondbacks right now, especially Easterns. Way more common in Westerns. Easterns, they're a lot harder to find. So figured, why not? Maybe try to get a couple clutches this year. Maybe, that'd be cool, right? Wouldn't you guys want a Tyler Nolan albino Eastern diamondback? Yeah, I think so. So, today that is what we're going to do. But as you know, we have a ton of animals and a ton of cages that are all pretty much full. We have like five or so cages that are empty so we can move some things around. These uh, Gila monsters right here, for example, they're in a five foot PVC cage. So what I think our best bet is, is to take these guys out. Um, I have a couple big cages out here that I keep the bee lizards in. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pretty much, we're gonna go set up the Gila monster cage real fast. Um, I'm gonna put some uh, mulch in the bottom. I got some branches and some more foliage from the reptile store, CBK Reptiles here in Deerfield Beach. Josh, thank you very much. So we're gonna go do that. We're gonna set these guys up real quick. Then we're gonna clean out this cage very well. We're gonna set this cage up for the rattlesnakes. And then we're gonna put the trio of rattlesnakes inside this cage all together. So like I said, the male and those two big females that I have, the females are definitely a, bit, a little bit larger than Beetlejuice. So we're gonna put all three of them together and see what happens with these rattlesnakes and hopefully we will get some babies this year, right? Mm. She's such a sweetheart. I like how you tried to bite me afterwards. She's like, Dad, don't kiss me on the mouth like that. That is not very nice. Oh, you're so sweet though. <laughs> all right, so let's get these guys put in a container. We're gonna go set up their cage real fast. I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick. Should be a really fast little thing, just throw everything together. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's get these guys in their nice new home. All right, so we're just gonna get this cage set up pretty quickly. I already sprayed it out, wiped it out decently. Plenty clean for them. Pour a hex the whole cage. Get some new mulch in there for these guys. There we go, some nice fresh mulch for these guys. I had the heat was on the aspen for just a little bit and they freaking, they hate that stuff. I hate it. I, I hate keeping my heels on that. A lot of people do. It's fine. It's just like, I feel like it sticks to the food items a lot more. This just looks way more natural. 
just love the way this looks. Nice out doorsy looking All right cool so now i got some freaking branches for these guys because even though he the monsters in the wild they live in burrows underneath rocks and stuff that's where they like to chill but they also climb we were just at tom's house the other day tom has these huge enclosures now for his gila monsters literally gigantic screen enclosures inside a couple of his facilities on his property and he said the gila's are climbing all the time so i've already known that i've had gila monsters I've, I've witnessed them climbing in the cages and stuff throughout the years so they definitely do climb so you want to make sure you have plenty of places branches leaves all that sort of thing in the cages for them to help them be a little happier all right let's get a water bowl in here all right so just like that perfect water bowl on the cool end stuff for them to climb on in the middle and then their hide box that I took from their old cage right there. So that's the little male that I've had for a very long time. Sid, the male Gila. Then we have Sheila, the Gila, his girlfriend, who is nice and plump. I love these animals, man. They're so beautiful, dude. Gila monsters are just freaking such cool lizards, bro. Black and orange and that pink and peach coloration on them, the knobbiness of them. They're, they're just so cool. They're fat tails, they're big fat heads, dude. I'm just that broad, broad snout on their noses, man. So cool. All right, so I'm gonna put a good amount of mulch in this cage. A little bit extra than normal. What the hell's going on with the light here? All right. Just so they have plenty of room to like move it around and bury, bury each other and just get nice and cozy, you know? Put this freaking hide box in there. Now this cage, we're gonna have three of them in. So I wanna make sure they have plenty of areas to hide. So I'm probably gonna put an extra hide box in, make sure they got plenty of shelter. They feel nice and cozy with each other. Okay, so I'm gonna set that up real fast. Put it nice like that, make it nice and dark for them, make it all cozy-ish. Put this one like that, that way. That's all good to go. We got a nice fresh water bowl, right? Y'all, that's it. Easy peasy, right? Well, for all sakes, uh, they're so simple. What we're gonna do now is, I'm probably gonna take the females out first. Batman, Batman. Beetlejuice, close enough. You can see right now, he's finishing up a rat. You see he's got the tail of a rat hanging out of his mouth right there. Now, he's been on the skinny side lately. Once Beetlejuice actually gets to a good weight, something happens and like he'll eat something that's a little bit too large. Maybe I get overconfident and just try to give him a medium rat because he could easily eat a medium rat. Or for some reason, he just has problems digesting them. And uh, if I give him too large of a meal, for some reason, three days later, he spits it up like clockwork every time. And then he'll go a month without taking another rat. So that's happened recently. So the last few meals I've given him are small rats, which is a little bit smaller than what he should really be eating. Um, so I'm just gonna have to do that more often and get his body weight back up. But he's the male rattlesnake. So it's not really, not really too worried about him having good body weight. I mean, he's, just a little bit under what I would like, but he definitely needs to be a little bit fatter. So I'm going to alternate them. I'm not gonna leave them in their cage all the time. I'm gonna introduce him and reintroduce him every few days. Say every four or five days, I'm gonna take Beetlejuice, the male, out of the cage with the females. And I know visually, I can tell them all apart visually. I can literally have a room full of freaking snakes and they all have little characteristics as you can tell them apart with. So I'll be able to pick him out of the three. Every four or five days, we'll take him out. We'll put him back in another cage, give him another small prey item, give him 24 hours to try to digest that, put him back in with the females, and we'll just see how that goes. Hopefully we get some babies this year. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take out this big one up top, this albino female Eastern that I have next to Beetlejuice, and uh, see how she's acting today. All right, so female up here. Great body weight, dude. Now, these are true just albino rattlesnakes. These females that I have, you can tell once I take the two of them out, now that you're gonna see all three of them in the same video, notice they're very yellow. The yellow content on them 
is a lot higher than Beetlejuice has. Beetlejuice is more almost patternless, which is another really cool thing about him. Um, Tom Crutchfield produced them a few years ago, and Beetlejuice almost doesn't even have a pattern on him at all. Now you see this is the female. Now you see she has a lot more yellow on her. Her head is a little bit more yellow. She's definitely, you can see a pattern. You can see all the diamonds going down along her. She's on edge all the time. Beautiful, beautiful female Eastern albino rattlesnake, Catullus adamantius. Love them. They're some of my favorite species of rattlesnake. They get, they get really big. These guys, it's crazy. This snake is probably five or six years old. And honestly, it's not that big. But you see how freaking fast that snake is, dude. It is crazy. Lightning, lightning fast snake. So let's get her safely in the cage. Please do not bite yourself, sweetheart. There we go. Just like that. Right. You always want to make sure you got the glass going the right way before you do this because then you get stuck doing sketchy stuff like this. Not fun. Alright, so boom. One female down. One more to go. Alright. So we got female number two. Let's see how she wants to act today. Now see, she's a little bit bigger. Her light just went down. Let's see. There we go. So this is female number two. She is just, just as spunky as the other one. Also super yellow. Beautiful colors on this thing. See all the like, this one even has almost like a, a pink hue on her. But dude, that is a serious freaking snake. I'm surprised she hasn't struck at me yet. They're very, very springy animals. So let's uh... Woo! There we go! Uh, oh, you see how far that strike was? Holy crap, dude. There's a good two and a half feet in between us and she pretty much came right out to here. They just launch after you. Pretty freaking gnarly. So, let's go over here. We're gonna safely open up one end of this cage and we're just gonna gently let her go into the cage with this other female. Oh man, stop trying to bite me. Alright, so let's see how they're gonna see how they're gonna act with each other also. Alex, watch out. There is a rattlesnake right there, my dude. Okay, let's get these let's get this female in there. Hopefully they don't try messing each other up. Oh, there we go. Just like that. Holy crap! Oh <laughs> my god, dude! <laughs> she! Man, these things are crazy. Alright, so we're just gonna get him very quickly out of that cage because he just ate, so I don't want to mess with him too much. We're gonna get him into the cage with the females. Try to do this as quickly as possible so he doesn't get all screwed up. All right, so we're getting we're getting Beetlejuice in the cage. So far, so good. The females are like on edge right now, but we're gonna see how this works out, man. Good luck to Beetlejuice. I wouldn't want to be locked in a prison cell with two angry females. That's for sure. <laughs> So, Godspeed to you, Beetlejuice. We hope and pray that you do not get murked by females. Should be fine. They're all the same species, so technically if they do bite each other, they can't envenomate each other. They'll be fine, in theory. So, we're gonna turn off these lights on the cages that we're not using anymore, because we wanna conserve energy. My electric bill is high enough, so we're gonna close that off. And yeah, that's it, man. Just wanted to show you guys a couple things. Relocated the Heedle Monsters, got them in a nice new cage, set up a little bit better than they were before. The Rattlesnakes, we got paired up as a trio now. Two females and the male, they're all together in a cage. So hopefully, you know, maybe they'll be set in the mood tonight. Maybe I'll come in here later today. I got a couple uh, Bluetooth speakers, so I'm gonna come in here later tonight when I turn the lights off, set a couple candles out for them, play a bunch of little Barry Manilow and stuff, and we'll really set the vibe for them in here tonight. And hopefully they uh, do their thing and they get a little menage a trois action going on later. Cause that'd be sick. Some baby rattlesnakes in the future? Sign me up, bro. I love baby rattlesnakes, they're so cool. Put them on deli cups, raise them up, give them out to people, sell them. It'll be cool. 
So that's it, guys. We got other things to do. Till next time, hope you guys appreciated this video. Got to see the rattlesnakes out in person. We don't really take them and handle them out too much just because they're absolutely crazy animals. So we got them out. We got them together. Fingers crossed. God, I keep fingers crossing things lately. God, fingers crossed. Just this. All right, TylerNolanTattoos.com. Go get your merch. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Like I said before, 67% or something aren't freaking subscribed to the channel. So go hit that subscribe button. Please support your boy. Go get some merch. Till next time, we're out.